Not as bad as it was last night. It was cold last night. It was night. cold as shit last night. But tonight is hot. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I got a four day weekend starting three today people that came Saturday. And Tamar has a four day weekend apparently. Right. But the person that brought the heat, well, it wasn't just one, it, it was three of them. It was uh, thing one. And, and me is the one and only DJ Alicia, or as I like to call her, Alicia! <laughs> That's for you, Leisha. Leisha. My Detroit people. Yeah, my Chicago yeah. family. I I first became, well, I don't know where I first came from. Oh, yes, the fuck I do. I was doing a breast cancer awareness. It was my first party. Excuse me, I still have a cold. Excuse me, I still have a cold. It was the first party I ever threw. At Mix, really? Rick Town. Yes. And you played with DJ Linda Carter. Lena. DJ Lena Sir Lena. Oh, shit, it ain't that bad out here. Oh, Lord. It's bad enough. It's coming Interview is over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually have to read these because it was so bad. So that was my that was my first time ever meeting. That was my first time meeting you. It was Tim's first time meeting you. Okay. It was everybody first, and you brought the house down. Oh man. So I've I've never heard you play anything other than we don't give a damn what time y'all leaving on. Damn it! Alcohol abuse! I'm sorry. 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 I'
Just the atmosphere. It was an underground party on uh, 76 and College Road. I still remember. He played I Feel Love by Donna Summer. And um, it was dark and it was uh, smoky and it was people shrieking and screaming all in the. It was like a haunted house almost. It was like you couldn't see nothing. And that's exactly how it should And I was like, I'm gonna do that. This is what I want to do. As a female, I know Celeste pretty much paved the way for all of the female DJs. Well, Celeste and Lori Branch, Lady B. I saw her on some special. Who's that? Lady Branch. Oh, uh, Lori, Lori Branch. Lori Branch has a radio show. Internet radio show. And then uh, Lady D is global, international. Uh, but Celeste, most definitely, and Lori Branch were the two females that paid the way. Did you have any opposition coming up? Of course. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 none of my opposition was female. You know. Well, it never is. Yeah. Because it's kind of hard when your dick is bigger than that. Yeah, I know. I just try to keep up. Uh, I try to just stay focused. Keep my eyes on the prize. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, we trying to do it. Hey! We are trying to do an interview here. Well, stop hollering at me and just do it. Yeah. Hey, we want to be on YouTube now. Happy birthday, Brad. Happy birthday, Brad. Uh, uh, so, yes. It is, it's, I'm sure it was hard for you. Especially when you hit like you hit. You hit like Tyson. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm aggressive in nature. I mean, I got, I have so, a soul for say. I, I have to. Actually, I have to play a variety of stuff, like especially when I'm post mixes, because I want people to know I'm, I'm multi-dimensional. I don't want them to think that's all I can do. So when I post mixes, I do a soulful mix or an Afro beat or a classic, or, you know what I mean? Just to let people know that I'm versatile. Um, when I leave here, I gotta go to Houston, and the people in Houston they want to hear Chicago classics because they've been in Houston for so long, so they don't get to hear, you know, like the old school cuts that they grew up with. Does Houston have a big house following? Huh? Does Houston have a big house following? Uh, they got an uh, event that they got, uh, the Fall Fest, and it's a group called Shy town Connection that, uh, you know, bring out Chicago DJs so that they can have a little taste of home every year. I, I got to stop real quick and say, she smells so good, y'all. <laughs> she been up there humping in a sweat. <laughs> and she smells April fresh. Remember how your grandmama used to put the clothes out on the line? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, now, I, I, I ask this of every DJ. I, only DJs. Who your top five Chicago DJs? Whoa, that's a, that's a loaded question. I know. Mm. And you can only give five. Right, that's a lot. So, of course, I love Terry Holly. That's one of my mentors. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Mike. Mike is, is heavy in Chicago. You know, he don't want to be a freak. But he can't help himself. He can't help himself. I know. He can't. I know. So I then know. there's Dwayne Powell. Dwayne Powell. One of my favorites. Uh, Steve Maestro. Niggity! I like Steve Maestro because you never know what he's going to do. So I'm like, I'm gonna you make it a tough for me too because I got about 12 more DJs I need tonight. But, but I only you got only got one more. more. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm going to say... Uh, Say Ron Carroll. I like Ron Carroll because Ron Carroll is uh, well rounded. He has a global sound. You know what I mean? He's well rounded. Okay. So, like from the old school DJs, who is it that, uh, well, old school Chicago producer. Mm -hmm. who, who, do you, who do you have mostly in your crate or on your stick or whatever you call it? Oh, I can't even tell you that because I got a tear by the music on there. I got folders. I got folders pretty much from every, you know, so it's no majority. It's, it's, a, it's a balance for everybody. 
So now when it comes to the Detroit scene, what is it about Detroit that you like and what is it about Detroit that you don't like? I don't think it's too much of nothing that I don't like. I ain't here long enough to don't like to not like anything. But what I do like is that you are um, appreciate the fresh sound. You know what I mean? You come out to hear a fresh sound. You got your, of course you got a bunch of DJs here that are multi-talented, global, global DJs. You know what I'm saying? Like Minx is one of the people that I look up to, that I aspire to, her professionalism, yeah. the way she handles herself, the way she carries herself. I love Minx. So, you got talent here, but you also, you know, open the doors for other well, you open the doors for some Chicago DJs to come in here and give a fresh sound and you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of a mixture. And I think coming to Detroit actually tailored my sound a little bit. Really? Yeah, it tailored my sound a little bit so I could play outside of Chicago. Okay. okay. When you play in one city for so long, you know what they like. You right. know what I mean? You know which songs to play and this, that, and the other thing. But when you play outside of Chicago, start to learn other cities in their ear and you know what I mean, how to grab attention if you're not at home. And I think we like a lot of both. Of us. Chicago tends to lead towards more of the disco side. We tend to lead towards more of the progressive side. It, it depends on where but you it go. But it all depends, too. Right. Yeah. It depends on where you go. Because we got different... That's the great thing about Chicago. We got different locations where you can hear different stuff. So if you know you're going to the lodge, you know you're going to hear this one. You know, if you go to Renaissance, you know you're going to hear some soul, you're going to hear some Applebee. You know, you're going to Reynolds, you know, Mike might hit you with anything. Ooh, you know, you might hit you with I heard he hit somebody with the kitchen sink one time. Well, see, and there you go. I'm just saying. You know, so saying. you got Ascension, you know, Box, you got Box and uh, whoever he brings in, or whatever the ladies do with the November 1st, but... Box got an uh, arsenal of stuff. Box might hit you with some disco. Box might hit you with some soul. Food. He might hit you with some afro. So, you know. Just don't let Box hit you with the head, because that's. You're going to spend two, three weeks in the hospital. I don't know. I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Reginalia. Anyway, um, when it comes to lady DJs, have you found that they. Club owners or promoters seem to devalue you, especially when it. And I said this because you mentioned me. So one thing I love about me, yeah. you she ain't playing unless you got that bag. Right. Her and Celeste right. ain't no discount. Ain't no I love you. Right. You first cousins. Right. None that. Brit, right. give me my money. So have you found that as a female DJ, people have tried to play you on the money tip? Um, I don't really consider, I don't allow anybody to play me, period, in real life. But, uh, <laughs> but I believe it. at some point I had to, you know, kind of pay some dues. So at the beginning of my career and everything, you know, is it my turn? It, at the beginning of my career, I, you know, I, I figured I had to do some stuff on love just to pay my dues and, you know, get some experience. You got to get your name out here and that other thing. But at this point in time, I played the show a few picnic twice. I've done, I've earned my stripes. So, yeah, no, nah, I don't do too many discounts no more unless, you know, my mama asked me or my daddy. <laughs> so, it. Alicia got to go back and DJ. Yeah, and and we're going we're gonna to do this again. Seems like whenever I try to get you or Nikki or Brett, it's always a short one. Well. But I definitely want I definitely want to get you on here again, like a part two. Um, I want to thank you for sitting down and talking to me. I want to thank you for loving me. I want to thank you for when you come here, you wanna you wanna re, you wanna lay eyes on me, and I wanna lay eyes yeah. on you. Yeah. And you have been just an inspiration to me. Period. I love my female DJs. And I, but what I want to see is I want to see you and Minx together. Yeah, me and Minx actually did the song together. But I ain't see it though. And we did, it was a tag team. Oh, and yeah. before we did the tag team, we had mommy talk. We talked about our kids, we connected. I mean, we connected via, convers you know, conversation before our, our gig, before our set. So we gelled so well that I think that connection just from us talking about real life stuff, changed our whole dynamic of our set. The set was just, it just flowed. It was, she flowed into me, I flowed into her. It was, it was dynamic. That was like one of the best tag teams I had. You know, I love Mink so much. I can't have no more kids. Yeah. But I got a cat. Okay. okay. And I named her Mink. 
friendly. And she is just as much a diva <laughs> as the real man. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my girl. That's, I, I that's really my like girl. her. I really like so her. So we're going to wrap this up real quick. We will get back with Alicia uh, another time when she has a little bit more time to spend with us. I definitely want to thank you for talking to me. I've been wanting to get you on the show. We got to get Fitzgerald next. Yes. And, uh, and I'm going to try to do bread again. But anyway, go on back in there. Do your thug thizzle. Yes, ma'am. Hit them hard. Yes, ma'am. Do what you do. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you.